How's it going YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here with another car gadget review for you. And today we're gonna to be checking out this magnetic phone holder from Anwas. Super excited to open this up and check out what it's all about. Special thanks to the folks over at Anwas for sending this over so I can review it for you. That being said, let's open this up and get started. So right off the bat, first thing I'm noticing is there is some serious heft to this device. This is made out of real metal or something like that because it is just really heavy. It's awesome though, it feels really premium. I really like the chrome decals they have all along the sides. Get you a close up of that. It's really nice. And it's really small. I mean, it's not even the width of like two fingers. That's really cool. So let's see what this does. Uh, seems that we have the 3M sticky mounting pad right on the bottom. So that's definitely some of the best stuff there. We have some special mounting instructions, of course. Glad to see they include that. And I think what we do is we would stick this down to our dash like so. And then once we have it, we can peel this up here. And oh, wow, look at that. That is really unique. So you can kind of open this up and then you have a ball joint right there. So you have a kind of universal best fit scenario for whatever you may need. So you can kind of stick that down and put that exactly how you would want it. I really like that. It's really cool, really small. And I guess if you're not using it, you can close it up. That's really cool. All right, let's keep going. So we have this little envelope of some extra pieces here. So we get some alcohol prep wipes. We get a various assortment of the magnetic attachment pieces for the back of your phone. So you have one square one and one round one to fit your device. A extra 3M sticky mounting pad. And finally, some extra pieces to help you mount your magnetic attachment pieces. So the first thing we wanna do is pick an ideal location where we wanna adhere the mount. I'm going to pick right here. I think this is a good location, uh, kind of out of the way of my windshield, but also easily accessible. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is take the wipes and we see one, two. So we're gonna take number one and wipe down the area. And now that we've gotten the entire area clean, we can go ahead and take wipe number two and dry it up. And the last step, we wanna take the car mount itself and we wanna peel off the 3M sticky adhesive tape cover, uh, but they also have instructions right on it so you can just read for yourselves what you need to do there. Really simple, uh, but seems that they want us to open this up so we can just peel that open because they want us to push down on this area here, uh, which the mount won't allow us to press if it's closed. So open it up. Now we can, of course, peel this off. Excellent. And now you just wanna pick your most ideal location for how to mount it. A good test is to always take your smartphone and place it right on top just to see exactly how it's gonna look and feel. And once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and press it down. And it says it wants us to hold it down for 30 seconds. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. All right, and I think we're just about done attaching our mount. All that we have to do now is peel off this front protector here, revealing a very nice glossy look to the mount itself. This mount is made really, really well. I, I really like the uh, chrome and shine that it has, and it's very small, so it's definitely out of the way. Uh, you know, you're not gonna really notice it if you're not using it. And if you do need to use it, of course, it's gonna work really well. So, uh, of course, we wanna have this uh, stuck here for three days before we really use it, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of test footage, so I'm gonna do my best to uh, put it through its paces and test exactly how well it works. All right, let's get to it. Up next, we're going to cover how to prepare your phone to use the mount. So you wanna take the little metal plates that it came with. Remember there was two of them, a circle and rectangle, whichever one fits your device best. Um, you have a couple options on how to use it. There's 3M sticky adhesive tape on the back, so you can peel that off and you can stick it to the back of your phone if you don't have a case or if you wanna stick it to the back of your case, or you can simply take the entire plate itself and slip it in between the phone and the case. So that's the option I'm gonna do. And I'm going to be using my Unihertz Jelly 2E to uh, test today. So what we're going to do is take off the case. And now that I have the phone out of its case, we can simply take the little metal plate. I'm gonna place it with the black side facing down. So that's what you see outside the case. And once you have it in the right place, close your phone back into the case. And there we have our little mounting disc ready to go, ready to be received on our phone mount. All right, cool, let's go and test it. 
All right, so we are all ready to test this out. We have our mold device with the steel plate in the back of the phone case, and we have our phone mount adhered down to our dash. So all that's left to do is position this in the most ideal viewing angle. And once we're ready, there we go. <laughs> that is really it. It's really that simple. I mean, it, it, it's, it's awesome actually. And it really holds on very well. I mean, that's definitely not gonna be uh, flying off while driving or anything. That magnet is very strong, but not too strong where it's too hard to take off. Um, it's, it's just the exact right amount. I mean, we can see that I have full device manipulation capabilities, so I have no issues using this device. I can access every part, every button. The charging port is available, so that mount really just kind of hides itself and is there when you need it. I also took the time to include the rectangular mounting plate in the back of this device, which is a Sony Xperia XZ2. We can see it's a much bigger device in comparison to my Jelly 2E. So just to show that this mount is capable of holding onto really any device, and you can see it really holds on really nice and strong, and it is not going to be dropping a device of this size or this weight. So you are going to be covered with whatever mobile device you have. As long as you put their steel plate in, you know you're going to be covered. You can put on any device you want, it's going to hold it really well. And I like that they include multiple plates because if you know you have multiple drivers of one car, you can give one to one and one to the other and everybody has something to mount their phone with. That is awesome. I really like this mount. It's kind of fun to play with. And now I just wanted to give you that FOV shot of how it would look if you were using it. So you have your mount right here, very small as you can see, definitely out of the way, barely notice it. And then you can take your device and simply place it right on. You know, this is not going to be coming off. It's holding it down very strong. Uh, you just have to place it on and take it off when you don't want to use it, as well as when using a bigger device, you can drop it right on. And we see that there is no issues whatsoever when using a device of this size. Very easy and very convenient. Awesome. And that just about wraps up the review of the Anwas magnetic phone holder. I really like this device and I definitely think it's convenient for users who don't want to block up their air vent or suck something onto their windshield and obscure their view while driving. It's small, it's convenient, and it gets the job done. And that's honestly the most important part. So if you are interested in this device, please check the link in the video description down below where you can purchase one for yourself. Again, special thanks to the folks over at Anwas for sending me this unit so I could review it. That being said, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.